Well, Mark, yet again, we've reached the end of an epic week and you're the man sitting with the trophy. You, you're becoming a serial winner. Yeah, uh, not quite sure how I won that uh, this week. I started really well against Williams and it just got progressively worse, if I'm honest. But hung in there, you know, played some good safety, put some balls when it mattered and you know, had a bit of good fortune in that you know, Zhang didn't play as well as he had done all week. But look, I'm sitting here with the trophy and that's all that matters. So we can look back at F spots and maybe's, but I, I've won the tournament and I'm happy. And I know you're not totally satisfied with where your game is at the moment, other than, say, you know, the first four frames that you played against Mark Williams. But six titles in two seasons, you're up to 11 ranking crowns now. You seem to be winning every other ITV event you're entering, twice the champ of champs, World Grand Prix, that 10-9 against Judd uh, last January. And now this one, you know, you are carving out a great CV. Yeah, and that's what I've always wanted to do. You know, picking up one tournament every sort of two or three seasons wasn't where I wanted to be. Uh, you no, know, I made some changes off the table and they've sort of stood me in good stead going forward, uh, both on and off. And that's where I've always wanted to be in the game. You no, know, I want to be a consistent winner. It's all right being consistent and getting to the later stages and you know, keeping your ranking, but that's not for me. You know, I, I, want to, I don't want to be a journeyman that just nicks the odd one. So to be here, you no know, six tournaments, you no, know, in the space of about 20 months, no, that's the sort of return that I'm after and that's what I want to try and work f harder for going forward to continue. It was an interesting matchup today because Zhang was brilliant against John Higgins and he should have been 5-0 up against Mark Selby and in fairness produced a brilliant break of 50 at the beginning of the decider and deserved his place in the final. But despite being 3-0 up earlier on today, you got the sense, or did you, that he was starting to show signs of fatigue towards the end of the match? Maybe not so much in the first session, but definitely in the second session. No, I, I was very fortunate to get out four all this afternoon. No, I was over the moon to be four all, given how I was feeling and how I played. And I felt like he was dominating and I was just pinched a few close ones there. Uh, but as the match went on, yeah, he missed a few that he hadn't missed in the early part. And he did look a little tired, but it's understandable. No, it was a really late finish, 6-5 against Selby. You no, know, he takes it, everything out of out of you whenever you're playing him. You no, know, uh, but he's had a great season and I think the way he's playing now, he's going to be around for a long, long time to come. He's a dangerous, dangerous opponent. I just uh, dragged him down to my level today. Well, I know you're being very self-deprecating about that, but what you can take great satisfaction from, not just the fact that you've won the title, that was a display of real tenacity. And when you needed it, your safety game was brilliant today. Yeah, my safety probably kept me in the match. Uh, because I didn't score at all uh, the way I have been this week. So you, need, you just need to find a way. You know, there's no point. And if you're not scoring, you have to find another way of winning. And you no, know, my safety was good. Don't get me wrong. I still had to rely on him missing a few shots. But I gave myself a chance of staying in the match as long as possible. And that's all I can really ever do whenever I'm not at my best. Now, I know you pretty much needed that victory at the shootout, that 50,000, to secure your passage through to the players' champs. Now, you've got the perfect platform for the lead up to the World Championship because we will see you at the Tour Champs. You've got Saudi Arabia coming up. You've got a tournament in China. You know, this is a perfect time to win another trophy and give yourself a platform for the last six or seven weeks of the season. Absolutely. There's a big sort of six, seven weeks to come. There's a lot of big events like you've said. So to go in there off the back of another tournament win, you no, know, up to I think number four in the one year list, number one on the end of season list and number three in the world ranking. So, there's a lot of, to be positive. Just to, if I can just find a bit more comfort in my technique, then I think I could be dangerous in these last lot of tournaments. You no, know, I can already. Everyone knows that I can win without playing well, but it would be nice to find some form because I think I could be dangerous then. Dangerous enough to go home with a magnificent trophy. Congratulations this week, Mark. Thank you very much.